Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make these really cute pop-up cards. So this one here, you just pull the top and then up pops the little kitten. So this one was a little bit different. I actually made this during a live demo. You've got this one here where I've not added the kennel in the background, so you've just got the sky. And then you can see the little pup that pops up from the grass to play with his friend. And then this one here, again, is that kennel. You just pull the tab and up pops another little puppy there to say hello to his friend. Have a awesome birthday. Really easy to make, so let me show you how. Okay, so the dies I'm using are from the 6x6 and 5x7 pop-up die sets. So you get both of them there, depending on what size card you want to make. I'm also using the dies that coordinate with the Perky Pooches stamp set here. So you'll see all of these dies here will cut most of these stamped images out along with the main puppy image and you also have this huge grass stamp which will coordinate and line up perfectly with the top of the die there. So we'll talk about that in a moment. And then there's also the cat here which is the cute kitten set and you get the dies there you can see all on the back. And again I've just used her in one of those cards and I'm probably going to use her again in this tutorial. So first of all you want to cut the main 5 by 7 die that comes in this die set here. So I've just run that through with some of my black cardstock and what it will do is it will cut a perfect matte layer for a 5 by 7 card blank which I'll be sticking it to at the end but you'll see it gives you these two perfectly placed slots. You then also want to cut two of the pull tab. Now, depending on the weight of the cardstock, if it's a 300 GSM, then one will be enough. But I have been doing two with most of the cards just because it really does strengthen that pull tab when you pull it up and down. So just die cut one or two of them depending on your card weight. Next, you're going to grab your pulley and you're going to slide it through the top slot there. And then you're going to bring it down so it comes out the bottom there. Okay. Now that is ready for you, if you've just brought the dies that do this, this is ready for you to pop anything you want in front of this and stick anything you want on here that it, so that it pops up. And that's what we found a lot of people were doing when we released this uh, just before Christmas. Lots of people were then adding their own things from their stash to make the pop-up cards. So now what I'm going to do is add this, it was like an addition set, so you've got the pooch, but this will also work all on its own. So ignore all of the pop-up piece, you can now lay this grass down, you could have your little puppy here, you could pop another puppy behind the grass, you don't always have to make the kinetic style cards that we've got it with here. But imagine this is any shape, size, as long as it covers that pulley and whatever you're hiding behind there, then you can use it. So I've die cut the grass, which is this large one here, and that's going to sit in front. And then I've also die cut it again, but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to trim it down so I have a little bit down here. So now I'm going to ink up that large stamp of the grass, and I'm going to cover the, all of this section here. So you'll see that the blades here will line up with the top. So I'm just gonna line this up and lay that one down, like so. And I'll just bring that up a bit so you can see it. You get all that detail. You don't have to add this. And if you haven't got the die, then you'll just be stamping this onto your cardstock. Then I'm just going to offset it a bit and stamp it. And again, I'll do this side. And kind of join it here. Doesn't matter if you overlap, and you'll see you start to get that really nice detail. So I'm going to cover all of that and I'm also going to finish this piece here as well. And also if you cut a lighter piece of green card and then ink the edges, you'll get a natural highlight in the middle. So if I bring back in these cards here, you can see where I've inked up all around the edge, but it's kind of lighter, and that's just the original colour of the cardstock. Again, with this one here, you can see it's slightly darker on the edges, but all of this is just the original lighter green cardstock, so it just gives you a nice effect. So I'm just using that same green, and I'm just going to add some darker colour to all of the edge. Okay, so I'll just hold those up so you can see now how different they look from before. And once that one sticks over the top there, you really do just see all that detail, it really does pop. So whilst I've still got my mat out, I'm going to ink up these pieces. So these are for the kennel, and you just want to die cut four of this one here. You do have the stamp if you want to stamp the wood grain detail, but you also have the stencils. 
and I'll link all the product that I'm using below. So this is the stencil, you get the stencil for the wood grain and you also get a stencil for the basket weave which will work with the kitten, or with the basket that comes in the kitten set. So with this one here, I've got some of my brown ink and a blending brush and I'm just going to place different part of the stencil over these pieces here. So I'm going to start with that one there. If you've got any stencil sprays and you want to fix it in place you can, it's such a small area I'm not going to um, worry about it but you can by all means do that. And I'm just going to brush over that area and you'll see there you get that wood grain effect, really nice. So I'm going to carry on and just kind of move the stencil around so I get different patterns on Okay, so they're now all inked up. Next, I die cut two of these pieces, which are using these triangles here, in a blue colour so it represents the sky. And I'm just going to stick those down first of all. So grab some liquid glue and a little bit on the back here. You don't need much. And you're just going to line them up with the corners of the card. Okay, next you're going to add the kennel pieces. You want to do the sides first, so I'm going to do this one here. So just run your glue along there, and then you just want to line it up with the bottom point of that triangle and make sure it runs along the side of the card. And then with these ones here, if you just run a bead of glue just down so it runs along the side of that triangular piece. And then you're just going to pop this in behind the pull tab, butt it right up and just bring it down. And you want to try and get the point here in the middle of this square and you'll have the overhang there as well. Okay, and then again, a bead of glue there. If you add the kennel, you'll have to make a bigger envelope. But if you've got any of the punch boards or if you follow my DIY envelope tutorial which I'll link up here. You can make any size envelopes really easy. You don't need any special tools either and then you'll be able to fit this inside. So now you can see we've got that kennel starting to form. Now you want to add some foam to the sides of the grass so just along each side there. I picked these strips up from Amazon. Of course you can make your own strips if you've got any wax paper, grease proof paper, just pop your foam tape on there and then you can cut any you know width strips that you want. But I'll, I'll share these ones below because they've been really handy. So you just want to rub two strips down each side like so and then just take the release paper off and then you want to decide what or who you're going to have popping up from your card. So I'm going to bring in my little pooch here that I've already coloured and I'm going to run a little bit of glue, very thin bead just along there. The smaller the glue or the thinner the double sided tape the more of your image that will pop up. I'm just going to rub some of that excess away and then just lay him down right along the bottom. Make sure he's nice and straight like so and then I'm going to stick this piece over the top and it will line up perfectly and it will conceal your image. Then I'm going to add this one. I'm going to use some more foam because I'm going to be popping the, I think I'm going to pop the kitten behind this one, like so. And then I'm going to lay that one down. So it's just lifted just a little bit for you to pop another image behind. And then I've already got a few here. So I think let's have that one because it's got a nice colour. There we go, so we'll pop the little kitty. Again, I'm gonna add some foam just to the back there. There we go. And then if you do have both of the stamp sets, you'll have lots of little extras. So you can see you've got toys here, you've got the fish scales, you've got the little mouse, lovely puns, you've got the food bowl. And again, with the puppy, you've got the paw prints, you've got the little rosette and the bones. So I've already got a lot of mine already out here so I'm just going to bring some in. I think I'm going to use the rosette again. We use the mouse, we've got the rope, the ball. So I'm kind of mixing them up but you have enough to be able to just use the ones in each set. So for example here you can see where I've used just the ones from the puppy set 
and then the kitten ones I'll be sharing in a separate tutorial. I think I'm going to add the rosette over the tab. If you have the pull from the makeup collection or the Christmas collection, then you can stamp the word pull there. You could also just pop an arrow on there. You could print off any, you know, you could have pull up, anything you want to go on there. If you do put something over the top, then you can always just pop a little message inside to say, you know, please pull the rosette. So it's really easy for the person to know what to do. And then I'm just going to start laying down all these kind of little toys along with a sentiment. So the sentiment I'm going to use on this one is to a bona fide friend and then I can send these cards out to lots of my friends. I'm just going to run some foam tape along there and I'll lay that down first because then I can walk and pop the toys and stuff kind of coming out from behind the sentiment. There we go. So like I said I'm going to pop that one there and then you can kind of you know sit things just behind the sentiment little toys here. The mouse I'm going to have crawling up the side of the kennel there as well. I think that looks quite cool. More toys there. Another toy popping out like so. So I'm going to get them all stuck down. Okay, so that's everything stuck down. Then I've got a 5 by 7 card base here, which I, is a shop brought one. Now you can add glue all over here, which I've done in most of the demos. Just make sure you don't go too close to the mechanism there. But this time I'm going to add some foam just so you can see that you can also add the, you know, your foam. So I'm going to run a couple of strips either side. And then just one in the middle there. So I'm just going to take all that backing off. And then just very carefully lay this down and you'll get a perfect white border like so. And then all that's left to do is pull the tab and up pops whatever it is you have there, but in my case, a very cute, adorable puppy. And then I am going to finish it off with some of my glossy accents. I just like to add this over the eyes. It just adds some shine. I'll pop it on the puppy's tongue as well. And it just adds a little bit of shine to the card. I just bring that up. You can see it goes a bit cloudy at first, but once it dries, it will dry completely clear and you'll get that lovely shine. So I'm going to leave that one to dry and I'll just bring over these ones again so you can see different arrangements. That's a party themed one with the party hats which are from the props stamp set. So I know lots of people have that. You've got the two puppies together there and again you've got that one with the kitten popping out whereas we've got the kitten down on that one there. So some really lovely cards. As always I thoroughly enjoy putting these together. I hope it's inspired you and helps out those of you that have these die sets. I'll link everything in the description box below as we'll be back very soon with more fun tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.